So this video will mostly be focusing on logo design, coming up with ideas for logos and the final design, but the first part of that is to come up with a company name. Uh, maybe that doesn't warrant its own video. So I'll I'll talk you through some of the ideas I had, why I liked certain ones and, and why I ditched the other ones. The first one I kind of came up with, I, I really liked it, was the name Pavildus. It's the Lithuanian word for heritage. It's kind of been the main component of what I'm trying to achieve with making these leather things. It's one of the things that got me most interested in leather work in the beginning was having these very good quality items that are going to last you a lifetime and in theory you can hand them down, you know, these kind of heirloom quality sort of things. That's where the, the kind of heritage aspect comes from. It's something I've always focused on but the word heritage itself is probably the most commonly used word in uh, a lot of these company names when talking about leather goods and stuff like that. So I thought Pavildus would be a good, it's not a very complicated word, so I didn't think that would be an issue. Um, but when we started going over it, I think Agla, like my wife who is Lithuanian, she said maybe it's, I think the way it's used in Lithuania is slightly differently. It's a more protected kind of word and maybe it wouldn't be the best idea. So, I don't know, I, I liked it, but I think it ultimately isn't the best out of what what we had. So that was the that was the first place we started, but after that we kind of started thinking of really silly ones. Pepper goods, so like something like that. Because pepper is, like my surname in, in Lithuanian is very close to the Lithuanian word for pepper. So we thought that could be kind of funny, but I don't think it was ever a very serious one. Same with like fur and pepper, so my wife's name, Agla, it's very common in Lithuania to have uh, people named after trees and plants and things like that. So her name literally means fur tree, so fur and pepper, but that was kind of a joke, I don't think we ever took that one very seriously. Fur and pepper sounds like the kind of name that probably exists already, someone probably has called their, their company that. Same with pepper goods, there has to be a pepper goods already. Well anyway, I had the idea to kind of make it a bit more personal, a bit more unique to, to myself. So I started to come up with some of the place names that, that, we'd, that we'd been, that we'd visited, that we'd liked. And one name was Fairy Den, which is the name of the village that I'm from, that I grew up in. So that was a consideration. And the last two, which were probably my favourite two, were Skirty Ness and Elephant Rock. So these are two places, again, that, we vi that I visited as a kid. These are places we used to go swimming and things in the summer. So Skirty Ness is actually the name of a lighthouse uh, close to where I'm from, where my granddad still lives. And just beside the lighthouse, we used to go swimming there as kids. So I have a lot of good memories attached to that. And uh, same with Elephant Rock. So it's uh, this rock formation that literally looks like an elephant and we used to go swimming here as kids quite a lot. So these two were, I really liked those and they were unique enough that I thought nobody's gonna have these as, as names already. One thing I'll mention on that point actually is that when I was doing this, I, I was very aware of the fact that some of these names might already have companies existing. Once I had a small list like this that I was kind of happy with, I check them all to make sure they weren't company names already because I don't want to get halfway through designing a logo and fall in love with something and then realize there's already a company which exists under that name and I can't use it so that was another thing to consider. So once once I had those few ideas I employed the help of my wife and we sat and had a sort of brainstorming session just trying to come up with logo ideas and I don't know it was pretty fun just to spend an evening doing that and trying to come up with with these ideas I was trying to come up with good ideas for Fairy Den, which is where I'm from, so fairies, of course, but there's also a very specific image in my head of of the shoreline, of a, a row of houses on the shoreline, one of which is my granddad's house. That was one idea, and relating to the, like I said, this Skirty Ness place is, is the name of a lighthouse, actually, so I thought that could be kind of cool as well, but not the most original idea. I think there's a lot of brands, I've seen a lot of logos of lighthouses, basically. So I thought maybe not the most 
unique or original and the same was with fairies and things I, th I thought it was maybe a bit I don't know, it's been done before what I liked about Elephant Rock was that it's, it's kind of a unique shape there might be other rocks in the world that look like elephants I'm sure there are but there are none specifically like like this one that I know and a kind of silhouette of that elephant rock I thought was a pretty good idea even if I was terrible at drawing it the first time around but you know that's okay we can work on that so once I had a few ideas I, I, I thought I'll take these over into Illustrator and try to draw them in a more digital format so I can work out exactly how it might look I'll show you some of the stuff I did, but before I do, I should maybe put a disclaimer here. If you're in any way competent in Adobe Illustrator, you might not want to watch this next bit. This is the first time I've ever used it. I don't know if what I was doing was correct, but we got it done. We got it done. I started with the elephant rock idea. I thought that was, that was my favourite. Once I'd actually seen it in Illustrator, however crudely it was, I started to realise that this was the one I wanted. I didn't even bother putting it, like trying to draw any of the other ones in Illustrator, I kind of realised I had what I wanted. And as I was drawing it, I was already seeing all of these ideas for the web layout and how the how this is going to look on the stamp for the products and my imagination was kind of running wild. So I, yeah, I got pretty excited about this one and, and I realised it's what I wanted to go for. So once I was pretty set on this, it was then a case of trying to find different images from, from different angles. Looking at this in person, you can kind of walk around and, and get a feel for it. Some of the images that I've found of it don't really capture the shape of it very well. So I was trying to find different images, made some different silhouettes of, of the rock. And yeah, basically I found one that I was really happy with. So you might have noticed that uh, my illustrator skills aren't exactly the best. I watched some videos on YouTube and found this other way of uh, creating the silhouette that worked much, much better. But when I had actually created them and I made them all one colour, it, it kind of looks okay as they're different colours, different shades, and you can see the, the kind of textures of the rock. But when I put it all flat as one colour, it just looked really, well, flat. Um, you couldn't really tell what it was, it just looked like a blob. I had the idea to create some kind of simple line drawings instead. So I ended up getting this drawn instead of uh, just doing it myself in Illustrator. It looks a lot better, I think. There's, there's texture to it, but it's not complicated, you know. I'll probably show you me fumbling around with trying to create a website as well. In that, I'll maybe focus more on the colors and fonts and things like that. Those still aren't 100%, but in terms of proof of concept, I'm really happy with what we have here. Join me again in a future video where I fumble around with a different part of this. Until then. Until then. Don't take Adobe Illustrator tips from me. Don't take any tips from me. I don't know what I'm doing.